So this question says a neighborhood consists of a two hectare park and a 35 hectare residential area. So two is for the park and 35 is for the residential area. The total number of trees in the neighborhood is 3,934. The equation 2x plus 35y equals 3,934 represents this situation. Okay, well, what situation? We know the 3,934 came from it being mentioned here, which represents the total number of trees. How about the 2x? Well, the only place where we've seen 2 is here, and that had to do with the 2-hectare park. And how about the 35? Well, the only place we've seen 35 is here in reference to the 35-hectare residential area. So if 2 times x for 35 times y equals 3,934 with relation to trees, then x must be the number of trees per hectare in the park, right? Because then that's why you multiply it by 2. And y must be the number of trees per hectare in the residential area, which is why you multiply it by 35. So I'm just, you know, I'm using this strategy called translate word problem. And for me, that simply means I want to make sure I understand what I'm reading. I don't just want to keep reading, right? So this equation means something, and I want to make sure I understand it before I move on. So now that I understand where all those values come from in the equation, it says again, the equation 2x plus 35y equals 3,934 represents this situation. Which of the following is the best interpretation of x in this context? Well, we've already done that work, right? We know that x, because it's multiplied by 2 in the equation, must have must be the number of trees per hectare in a park. So let's see which answer choice makes the most sense. Choice A, the average number of trees per hectare in a park. Like that a lot. Choice B, the average number of trees per hectare in the residential area. Definitely not. That's the Y. The total number of trees in a park. Total number of trees in a park. No, because why would you multiply it by 2? Um, the total number of trees in a residential area. This has nothing to do with residential area. So choice A is the best answer here.